Now, whatever we have studied till now, whatever we have studied till now can be summarized into these four points. So, so I'll put it under the title observations. Okay. Number one. For for solid liquid equilibrium there is only one temperature there is only one temperature at which the solid and liquid coexist at the at pressure of 1 atm atmosphere okay pressure of 1 atmosphere there is only one temperature that temperature is called that temperature is called what is it called come on that's called uh -huh. i didn't get you hmm? critical is either called the melting or or the freezing point Freezing point, right? Okay. Now, second thing we saw that for 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 liquid vapor equilibrium. The vapor pressure is a constant at a given temperature, is it not? The vapor pressure is a constant at a given temperature. Okay? Then we saw the dissolution of solid and liquids. For dissolution of solids in liquids, okay, we saw that the solubility remains a constant at a given temperature. If you increase the temperature, suppose suppose a glass of water is able to take say eight tablespoonfuls of of sugar and you increase the temperature what happens the solubility goes up okay and the great thing is if you let it cool down back to the same temperature then whatever excess that you had dissolved that will come back it will get crystallized okay so it will come out as sugar you must have seen honey kept in winter crystallizes out the the sugar crystallizes out of it and it will start looking like some some ghee okay okay it it actually is is the sugar crystal that that crystallizes out and if you want it back then you just warm it a bit okay so put it in in say some lukewarm water after some time it automatically melts it will become clear otherwise it becomes opaque whitish okay so the solubility remains a constant the solubility remains a constant at a given temperature okay then we saw the gas and liquids okay So we saw that 
the the solubility of gas in liquids is a constant at a at a given pressure at fixed temperature right it has two variables so it keeps on changing okay okay now now some of the characteristics of the physical process under equilibrium that we saw just now right the first process that we saw was the conversion of one form into another the another was the solubility both both of them are physical processes right nothing changes we do not form a new compound so we are still investigating the the physical processes so what are the characteristics of the physical processes characteristics of the physical processes that we saw we saw that that this equilibrium thing is possible only in a closed system now if if instead of that bell jar we remove the jar we'll never reach an equilibrium the vapor pressure does not stabilize right because more and more goes into the universe and and there is hardly any change there so the pressure you'll not be able to change the pressure of the universe by boiling a kettle of water right okay. not possible fine so so the first thing is that equilibria is possible is possible only in a closed system why do we say that see while 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 the vapor liquid vapor it had to be physically closed for the solid liquid it was to be a closed system because of because you did not want any heat to come out or go away if you want an equilibrium okay you have to maintain the temperature at 0 degree centigrade same with same with say you know, solid dissolving in liquid okay or solid becoming a gas okay if you want if you want say in that iodine case that you do not want any more iodine to to dissolve and become gas then you have to keep it covered with a bell jar okay similarly for 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 solubility you have to keep the system closed in the sense that you do not let the temperature go up or down otherwise the solubility will get affected okay so at times it is closed okay when, when you say a closed system and, and and that you'll you'll come to know it is a system where either the where either the actually in thermodynamics the things are a bit different you have to say an isolated system a closed system is where the masses do not get exchanged but the energy can get exchanged okay so here you need an isolated system in the sense that you do not want to exchange either the mass or the energy if you do any of these maybe in a gas in a in a bottled carbonated drink if you allow say the temperature to rise suddenly it'll 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 burst it might okay because more of the carbon will be carbon dioxide will get ejected okay it gets ejected so so you have to only in a closed system and by closed system with respect to no exchange in mass no exchange in matter or energy okay if it would have been a thermodynamic chapter they would have named it an isolated system okay an isolated system fine 
and and we know that the process is a dynamic one the the equilibria is a dynamic one is a dynamic one and both the processes occur at the same rate occur at the same rate that we have been saying since time immemorial okay now when that happens the measurable the macro properties all the measurable properties of the system of the system remain constant and what are the measurable properties hmm? so they are they are maybe pressure volume temperature mass no all those macro properties right they remain the same fine now when an equilibrium is reached there is something there is one one characteristic that becomes a constant okay <clears throat> so when equilibrium is reached at equilibrium one parameter becomes a constant at a given temperature at a given temperature okay somewhere it is solubility okay somewhere it is it is the pressure no in liquid in liquid vapor it is the pressure okay in the solid liquid at a given temperature what becomes constant in a we are saying at equilibrium one parameter becomes a constant at a given temperature say in dissolution at a given temperature the solubility remains the same same with the gas in a liquid vapor it is the vapor pressure in solid vapor it is again the vapor pressure, pressure. between so in solid liquid at a given temperature what remains a constant vapor pressure. Solid, liquid. Pressure. solid liquid solid liquid solid solid and liquid solubility, hmm? solubility in solid not solid converting into liquid i am not saying solid liquid dissolution we are not talking about this dissolution we are not talking about the dissolution of a solid into a liquid i am i am talking about that conversion of the state Hmm? Volume. volume volume of what pressure. Hmm? Pressure. pressure I am talking about a, a, a an ice cube kept at 0 degree centigrade say so what happens what remains constant at constant temperature what one parameter remains constant yes the mass of the liquid that is there that has to remain constant it's a or the or the mass of the solid both have to remain a constant 
okay so so that is what is being said by this <coughs> and by measuring one of them you can tell okay measuring one of measuring measurement of the above parameter of the above parameter indicates the extent of the extent to which the reaction has proceeded proceeded in the forward direction in the forward direction understand so suppose in a solid liquid system you see that more and more and more solid is getting converted into liquid it means perhaps you are somewhere above the melting point of the solid okay if it is say absolutely kind of solid then you're somewhere below the melting point okay if the dissolution is going up and up then it means that the pressure is going up and up in liquid gas in a liquid gas okay if the vapor pressure is going up and up then perhaps the temperature is also going up and up okay or maybe the liquid is volatile or okay liquid is more volatile so so it is, you are able to tell or for for a given thing right for a for a for a given liquid say if the pressure is going up it means you are going going on increasing the temperature fine we understand